the problem L is one of the easier problem in this contest. It's called where am I? The idea of a problem is that uh, we're given a, a part of an infinite grid where some crosses are placed on uh, part of the cells. There are no more than 100 crosses and uh, then they're used for a positional positioning algorithm. Uh, the positioning algorithm works by going in a clockwise spiral from a point from a starting point and observing all crosses and trying to match them to the expected positions of those crosses on the grid, therefore determining the cell where the path was started. Uh, it can be proved that any starting point uh, will be able to be to be identified uh, by this algorithm because the number of crosses is finite and during this traversal we will eventually encounter all of them. However, for every cell, there, after some number of steps we can already uniquely identify the cell and uh, that's exactly when the prefix of the observed sequence is unique. The exact task is to determine maximum and expected number of steps uh, for all of the cells on the part of the grid. There is uh, an obvious naive solution, which is to uh, generate all the traces covering the whole grid from every possible starting point, and then construct a prefix tree out of them and then uh, it's quite easy to determine uh, the length of a prefix which is sufficient for uh, positioning. The problem is that the complexity of this solution is uh, number of cells squared, which is too much because number of cells can be 10,000. However, the smarter way is to use the fact that there are no more than 100 uh, x's, and uh, therefore by encoding the whole sequence only by positions of those axes or the indices of those axes in the sequence. In this case, uh, we encode every trace by only 100 integers and uh, comparing those uh, sequences with each other can be done in the same way as comparing the original traces, which is just lexicographical order, so if we put them later in a prefix tree or similar data structure, we'll be able to obtain uh, the length of uh, the prefix sufficient for the positioning. By doing this for every possible starting point, uh, it's easy to then obtain the necessary uh, statistics for the output, like the maximum and the average number. For more from the ICPC World Finals DACA, follow us at news.icpc.global and on social media with our hashtag ICPCWFDACA.